What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today I want to talk about a few different things. I want to talk about this whole situation with the Trump uh, classified documents that he took to Mar-a-Lago. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, we're also going to talk about President Biden. He spoke out about inflation uh, yesterday, so I want to focus on that. And then I want to talk about former President Obama. He had a meeting with uh, Democratic leadership and he was just talking about how to move forward, how they should be moving forward when it comes to uh, getting these these bills passed and then selling selling what they've already done. I think this is really important because uh, we saw some really good things in 2021. However, we focus on the negative. We focus on the stuff that failed. We didn't focus on that first stimulus package, the stimulus checks and all that. So I want to talk a little bit about that. But first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and what's going on in Washington, D.C. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so let's take a look at this story. Uh, this has been developing the last couple of days. Some Trump records taken to Mar-a-Lago clearly marked as classified, including documents at top secret level. So that this is what we're looking at right now where President Trump, or former President Trump, uh, took, and I think it was like 15 boxes, took it to Mar-a-Lago, and we're talking about sensitive stuff. Now, everything needs to be archived when it comes to the president, and we, we like to, to archive everything, and when they open up a museum, have it in the museum, as well as it's very important to document our history. And so uh, President Trump, it, it appears that he's taking stuff that uh, he shouldn't have been taking. And the, the reason why this is, is another, another reason why this is a big deal is because Hillary Clinton, I mean, President Trump was going after Hillary Clinton about these emails and, and, and bleaching these emails. And now we're hearing that there's a book that's gonna be coming out uh, where uh, aides at the White House said that, that he was flushing stuff down the toilet, flushing paper down the toilet, not toilet paper, but actual uh, documents. And it was it was clogging up the toilet and they had to continually have people come in and unclog the toilets. Now, President Trump has denied this. However, the DOJ is looking into this whole situation right now uh, when it comes to uh, some of these documents that uh, were taken that he just took from the White House. Uh, and it's, it's, it's pretty interesting because you, you remember, I mean, President Trump just kind of left. He didn't you know, he didn't have the greeting when President uh, Biden came in. He didn't do any of that stuff. He just left. He got out of the, got out of town, and so it's interesting that he would bring these the documents. I mean, I don't I don't know why, especially if it's classified. He's not supposed to bring it. That's actually against the law for him to do that. And so they're going to have to look into this. Is uh, you know has a crime been committed? Who knows? I we'll we'll find out later. Um, but when it comes down to it, what, why, why take the stuff? Why would you need to take the stuff? And so they're going to have to look into this, but I want to know what you guys think about this whole thing. And what do you think about the rumor that he was flushing things down the toilet? I just think that's, um, that that's pretty comical. And in some of his speeches, I, I I've, uh, started watching some of his speeches again and he talked about that flushing stuff down the toilet, not him, but like blaming and saying other people would be flushing stuff down the toilet. Uh, but uh, it looks like he's the one that's flushing stuff down the toilet. Or rumor has it that he was flushing things down the toilet. Like I said, he denied it. So you have to either believe him or believe the aides that say that uh, he was flushing things down the toilet. So let me know what you guys think down below. Okay, so we have President Biden here. He was on NBC. He was talking. It was an exclusive uh, interview with Lester Holt. And he was talking about inflation. I want to play this because I think this is very, very important for us to focus on. And at the very, very end there, he I mean, there might be a clue there. Uh, that that he might be looking to try to help Americans. Uh, so let, let's go and take a look. Here we go. Today's sour headline on the economy. Inflation skyrocketing to 7.5%, a 40-year high. Prices still spiking on everything from used cars to gas to food. Inflation now costing the average American an extra $275 a month compared to last year. I think it was back in July you said inflation was going to be temporary. I think a lot of Americans are wondering what your definition of temporary is. Well, you're being a wise guy with me a little bit. Uh, and I understand that's your job. But look, uh, at the time, what happened was the, uh, let's look at the reason for the inflation. And the reason for the inflation is the supply chains were cut off, meaning that 
the products, for example, automobiles, the lack of computer chips to be able to build those automobiles so they could function, they need those computer chips. They were not available. So what happens? We, the number of cars were reduced, the new cars reduced, it made up at one point, one third the cost of inflation because the price of automobiles were up. So what I did when I went out and made sure we started to make those domestically, we got Intel to come in and provide $20 billion to build a new facility. A number of organizations are doing the same kinds of things. When can Americans expect some relief from this soaring inflation? According to Nobel laureates, 14 of them that contacted me and a number of corporate leaders, it ought to be able to start to taper off as we go through this year. In the meantime, I'm going to do everything in my power to deal with the big points that are, that are impacting most people in their homes. Okay, so there was President Biden. Now at the very end there, he was talking about uh, he's going to do everything in his power to uh, deal with with some of the things that are that are impacting uh, families, basically. Uh, so that that the hope is that we can get some type of uh, legislation through that can help the American people uh, and focus on some of these issues when when it comes to this in, this inflation and 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 try to get that to a point where. Uh, we're we're not dealing with uh, the these this large spike in in inflation. Uh, you you didn't hear him say he didn't give kind of he kind of gave a vague response to when will this be over. He says that he thinks it'll taper off, or at least uh, the econ some economists think that it will taper off by the end of this year. But we don't know how long that is. Is it does it does that mean November? Does that mean uh, summer? What, how much longer are we going to have to deal with this inflation? Uh, or is this something that is permanent? Are we looking at a permanent uh, situation which would be detrimental to a lot of people? I mean, it's already hurting people now, but could you imagine if this is the new normal where we, we have inflation that looks like this? Uh, so uh, there, there's still a long way to go as far as moving forward with legislation. You haven't heard much talk about anything yet. Um, the, the main talk right now is February 18th. That's when they're focused on can, a continued resolution so we can move past uh, the, 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 the budget situation because we have to have fundings because we definitely don't want a government shutdown. So it looks like they're going to kick the can down the road, probably another couple months and then, uh, revisit it in a couple months. But, um, right now there's a lot of stuff that, that needs to happen. Uh, one is that continued resolution to, to fund the government. They're also talking about build back better, still renaming it and, and creating something a little bit different when it comes to that. Uh, so, and then standalone bills, they're talking about standalone bills as well. Child tax credit, they might have to do that in a standalone bill. You do have some Republicans that support it right now. So we might be able to see something like that in the future. And it's an election year. So that's very important because it's an election year. That means you're going to have some politicians that are really going to try to get out there and say, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll support this because I need to get reelected. And if I don't do anything for the next seven months, then I'm probably not going to be in office uh, next year. So this is going to be very, very important for us to see uh, what happens with this. But uh, there it is, President Biden talking about inflation. So if you guys watched this far, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified when we put out a video. We do daily videos. We're talking about financial news. We're talking about what's going on in Washington, D.C. We're talking about uh, the, the next stimulus package. So if that's interesting stuff to you, make sure you subscribe. Let's get back to talking about what's going on with President Biden, what's going on with the White House administration and how they need to sell what they're doing. So I want to talk about this because th this is something that is, I think it's being overlooked. And I think the Biden administration is doing a real poor job of, of really selling what they've done in the past. Uh, so let's go back to the one point nine trillion dollar uh, stimulus package, the last stimulus package. Now, the, the, the fact that they were able to pass this. They passed this with only Democrats supporting it. No Republicans supported this. Okay, now we're talking about stimulus checks. $1,400 stimulus check was in that package. It received no support from Republicans. That should be one thing that they talk about every day. They should be advertising that. Look, we had a stimulus package. The last stimulus package that we passed had stimulus checks in there. No Republican supported it. So do you think if they gain power in, in November that they will move forward with a stimulus check? Probably not. Now, in fairness, in all fairness, Democrats have not moved forward with a stimulus check, but the last stimulus check that came out, it was all Democrats that supported it and no, no Republicans. Also looking at the child tax credit, this is something else. This was passed in that $1.9 trillion bill. That's extra money for families. 
That's monthly payments for family members. Now, I know there are other people that are out there that definitely need monthly payments, but the child tax credit was something that was a success. Democrats should be talking about this every day. They should be selling that, selling the fact that they provided this. No Republican supported this. They should be selling it. Senator Bernie Sanders, is he, you know, he's got the, the right idea. He's putting out these different campaigns and uh, these ads and all this stuff. And that, that's the right idea. You should be selling this to the American people, letting them know, look, this is what we did. This is what we want to continue to do. Even the infrastructure bill, that first infrastructure bill, very successful. They got that passed. That was bipartisan, but they still got it passed with the majority of Democrats supporting it. They need to sell this stuff and they're not doing it. And President Obama met with with some Democratic leaders uh, yesterday, and it was very interesting just because of the the dialogue and, and, and what was coming out of there. And, and we were hearing President Obama was saying the same thing. Look, you guys need to work on, on, on focusing on what's passed. Don't focus on the things that didn't pass, but focus on the things that you were able to get done. Because if you focus on the failures, then people are just gonna think it's all, it, everything that you guys do is a failure. But focus on some of the things that were actually positive, some of the things that, that passed. And so we'll have to see if President Biden takes this in, the White House takes this in, and, and, and the leadership uh, takes this in when it comes to uh, moving forward. But they have to focus on the success. Don't focus on all the, the things that didn't pass. Focus on that stimulus check that passed that helped millions and millions of Americans. Focus on that child tax credit that gave a monthly payments, the enhanced unemployment, the student loan deferments, and all the things that we've seen go through in the last year, they're not talking about that. All they're talking about is Build Back Better, and guess what? Build Back Better failed. It failed. So they need to go back and start talking about some of the stuff that actually worked and maybe start focusing on, okay, how can we implement some of those things in future bills because those things passed before. Let's try to see if we can pass some of those things again. That's what they should be focused on. But right now they're focused on the failures. They're focused on the inflation, which is good. I mean, you should be focused on that, but they're talking about all the things that are going wrong and not talking about anything that's going right. And so uh, President Obama did talk with them about that. Let's hope that they're, they're understanding that and they really start pushing like, look, we did this. We did the child tax credit. Let's do that again. Let's focus on doing that again. You have, actually you have now some support from Republicans. There are a few Republican senators that support a child tax credit or a parent tax credit. So go with that. Move forward with some type of a standalone bill if you can do that. But they have to move forward with the things that work and stop focusing on the things that failed. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.